ancestral concussion soup, garden egg, ikon, igba, yellow, fresh tomatoes and pepper, spices, ginger, turmeric, onion, garlic, medicinal, dry fish, crayfish, iru, palm oil, ancestral and mandatory, thou shall not fry, magi, ceremonial, and salt to taste, necessary. Okay, back to the garden eggs. You can see there is the green ones and the light ones. The difference is that the green one have less water. It is more bitter than the white ones, which have more water than the green ones. Chop the tomatoes, garden eggs, and onions to smaller pieces to make it easy for the blender. The fresh tomatoes is just ceremonial, but the pepper is very, very, very necessary. That's part of what makes it ancestral. Grate the turmeric and ginger to make it easy for the blender. Start blending bit by bit in the blender. Crayfish has been blended into powder form, but you can also add it to this blending puree and blend it all together. When you are almost done with the blending, add fresh iru or dry powder one and blend it together. Iru is locust beans seed, which has been cooked and fermented for days. It is full of nutrients, including proteins, etc. Used by our ancestors for years, called iru in Yoruba, dawadawa in Hausa, and ogiri in Igbo. Pour it in a cooking pan, add dry fish, also called smoked fish, that is, cut fish rolled into circle and roasted with fire slowly for days. Some other fish, crayfish blended, maggi, chopped garlic, spices, more spices even, palm oil, salt, mix together, place on fire to cook. Ladies and gents, ancestral concussion soup, the soup of our ancestors. You can eat this with anything, including yam, Irish potato, sweet potato, plantain, barley, either fried or cooked. You can eat this with rice and even swallow. Question. So what do you think of this ancestral soup? Will you try it? Thank you.